BioVendor has a long tradition in development of immunoassays as well as antibodies and recombinant proteins. Our ELISA kits for the determination of biomarkers in various clinical fields have gained a good reputation and were frequently referred in top-class scientific journals. Now, I would like to talk about biomarkers of cardiovascular disease and will tell you which of our immunoassays are really relevant in diagnosis and research of cardiovascular disorders. Here is the list of most important biovendor kits from the area of investigation. Based on physiological risk factors, especially hypertension and high blood cholesterol, and behavioral risk factors, we can divide cardiovascular disease into several groups, as you can see in this scheme. In BioVendor, we are focused mainly on acute states as myocardial infarction and ischemia. Nevertheless, most of the kits from cardiovascular disease portfolio are secondary related also to chronic states of disease such as congestive heart failure. A first molecule I'd like to mention is GDF15, also known under its older name macrophage inhibitory cytokine 1. It's known that GDF15 is upregulated because of heart, kidney, liver and lung injury. GDF15 has both diagnostic and prognostic potential. As you can see on the figure, its concentration increased in circulation of patients with acute or chronic cardiovascular disease. What's interesting, this cardiomarker is independent of established markers such as troponin I and NT-proBNP. Even more than diagnostic, GDF15 has prognostic potential. As obvious from the graph on site, cardiovascular disease patients with both elevated and high GDF levels have worse mortality prognosis than others. Other molecules I'd like to talk about are troponin I and hard FABP. Troponin I is established diagnostic marker of acute coronary syndromes and heart failure. It can be detected in blood three to six hours after onset the chest pain. Heart FABP is also valuable marker of acute and chronic states. It's released from cardiac myocytes following myocardial infarction or ischemia. Its concentration in blood in this state increase within one to two hours. So, measurement of heart FABP together with troponin I shows increased sensitivity of around 20% over troponin I following the chest pain. It's recommended to measure both markers together to identify myocardial infarction and acute coronary syndromes in patients presenting with the chest pain. Two other interesting molecules uh, belong natriuretic peptides NT-proANP and NT-proBNP. Both peptides act as prohormones of atrial natriuretic peptide and brain natriuretic peptide. NT-proANP is a typical marker of cardiac dysfunctions classified among the chronic diseases. On the other hand, NT-proBNP belongs to established diagnostic markers of acute cardiovascular disease states with regard to cardial, non-cardial etiology. Both together, NT-prohormones 
provide useful prognostic information in other fields of interest such as atrial fibrillation, stroke, sepsis, and development of multiple organ dysfunction syndrome. In presented table are summarized ELISA products according to molecules I have talked about so far. All the mentioned kits in the table we recommend to divide into cell packages according to their intended use. In this case, it means diagnostic or prognostic package for acute cardiovascular disease, diagnostic package for chronic cardiovascular disease represented by nt pro PSA alone, and prognostic natriuretic peptide package for sepsis and multiple organ dysfunction syndrome. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, one of the critical cardiovascular disease risk factor is hypertension. Actually, we might rank such risk factor itself to the major civilization disease. Hypertension has a very really close relation to renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This hormone system regulates blood pressure and fluid balance. Here, in this slide, you can go through the simplified scheme of the system. For better clarity, we recommend a video on YouTube with the name Renin Angiotensin Aldosterone System. Here is the overview of our ELISA products related to renin angiotensin aldosterone system and hypertension. As you can see, it is the whole package of the most important members of the system. To the most sold products in general belongs renin and aldosterone assay. However, with regard to higher concentrations in circulation and stability, Proranin could be appropriate addition to mentioned kits. Besides immunoassays, we normally offer also proteins and antibodies. In this slide, you can find selected ones. So, I believe you have found something interesting in my presentation also for your work, but it was just a little testing of a wide offer of BioVendor biomarker immunoassays. Visit us at BioVendor.com website, where it's very easy to find an ELISA kit, protein, antibody, or microRNA immunoassay meeting your needs. Feel free to contact our product managers and ask for help. Thank you for your attention.